All right, real quick, if you wondering why I'm in a hotel room, a lot of y'all know I live right outside of Houston, and we just got hit pretty damn bad by the hurricane. Make sure y'all send thoughts and prayers out to all the people that got affected, because I've never seen so many trees pulled up by the roots in my life. My family is perfectly fine. We got a little damage to the house, lost the food in the fridge, had a little damage to the fence, but the neighbor across from me lost their whole damn fence. And up the road, I saw a tree that fell into a house. I was up all Sunday night because the storm just sounded crazy. Fell asleep again eventually and woke up Monday morning to no power. Again, that was Monday morning and today is Friday. And when we went to sleep last night, we still ain't had no power at the house. Good news this morning, we just found out our power came back on. So we'll be settling back into our house later on today. We tired, a little annoyed, but it's a whole bunch of people that had it way worse than us. So we are thankful that we okay. That's just a little quick update for those that was wondering. Now it is time to jump into the video. In 2007, Jamarcus Russell was the biggest name going into the NFL draft. Only three years later, dude was considered to be one of the biggest draft busts of all time. His work ethic at the time was said to be so poor that the stories have reached like legendary status, including one where the Raiders purposely sent the dude home with blank DVDs that he was told contained game film. When Jamarcus returned, they asked him if he watched the DVDs. He was like, yeah, I watched them, learned a lot. But again, there was nothing on them. For a long time, stuff like this shaped the entire story of Jamarcus Russell as an NFL player. Years later, we found out some of the things he was dealing with at the time, and it doesn't excuse his lack like of professionalism but it does give you some insight the short version of the story is when jamarcus was a kid playing ball in the park he reached into a cooler that belonged to people who were close to his family so he trusted them and reached into the cooler with his guard down he reaches in and grabs a soda but doesn't realize that the soda had already been mixed with a substance called lean or drank or served depending on what part of the country you happen to be in when you come across the substance now the owner of the cooler met no harm to the kid. It was an honest mistake. Dude just grabbed the wrong drink. The guy took him to a hotel afterwards to sleep off the effects because he was scared of what Jamarcus' parents might say or do. From that day forward, Lean was just a part of the dude's life. Even when he was at the top of college football, Lean was always there. Then just as he was going into the NFL, he lost two close family members, one of which he basically watched die. So when he got to the league, dude was in a terrible headspace and he was fiending for the substance he'd become dependent on. So weeks before training camp, dude is loading up on it, which would prove to be a grave career killing mistake. Basically, by the time camp came, he was going through withdrawals, which are said to be brutal when it come to lean. His coaches picked up that he wasn't fully committed to football first and foremost, and they quickly rebelled against their first overall pick and tried to make things as hard as possible on him to get him out. He didn't help his own case and left himself at the mercy of people who at this point did not give a damn about him. This ain't family, this ain't friends. You at work now, you know? And work relationships don't work the same way personal relationships do they're not unconditional bro they are very conditional very dependent on what you can do for me neither side took any steps to make this thing work so the obvious outcome was that the whole thing imploded years passed and we didn't hear nothing from the dude he kind of faded into the background and out of the spotlight but in 2018 he popped back up and seemed to be doing pretty good as he was back around the game. Demarcus returned to Lily B. Williamson High School, same place he played his high school ball. As a player there, Demarcus started every game of his career and still holds the Alabama high school career passing record. But now in 2018, Jamarcus is not the main guy. He's not the head coach, you know, he's just an assistant. Not only is he an assistant, but he's an assistant working in a volunteer capacity. I just wanna relay what I know, what I've seen as a player to help on offense, defense, as a water boy, whatever. He said, I'm here to help the team get better in any way that I can. After a couple years, Jamarcus offered to help in a much bigger way. He could leverage what was left of his celebrity and pedigree to help get funds for the school's high school football program. He said that he'd gone to school with some of the players' parents, and he talked about how dope, you know, how cool that was. And it would be pretty cool if he could make things better for this new generation of players of today. So Jamarcus linked up with a local business owner who believed in the situation enough to reach into his pocket. Chris Knowles wrote a check for $74,000 to help the football team purchase new weight room equipment. Unfortunately, just like his NFL days, time of money came into play, things just went off the rails. He'd been working as a volunteer for years up to this point. First time money enters the picture and again, 
it implodes. Now the rest of this story is a legend. There's an ongoing lawsuit that might bring a different truth to the light. I really hope that's the case cause this looks horrible. But as of now, this is the story so. Allegedly, the school never actually received that check. And it's been reported that Jamarcus did deposit the check into a credit union and immediately withdrew $55,000 of it. It's not been reported exactly what he supposedly did with the money, but again, the school says it never got to its intended destination. When you quote unquote steal from a bunch of billionaires, it's not good and even though it was a lot more money, it doesn't really ruin your credibility quite the same way as stealing money meant for kids on a team you was coaching. If he did this and it can really be proven and it stands up in court once all the facts come to light, his human resume is gonna have the appeal of like one ply tissue used to blow your nose with. Now tons of funds get misappropriated in this country every day, from schools to politicians to former NFL QBs. So this is possibly just another in a long line of greed, which unfortunately just seems to be the human condition. If it's not true, the man gonna have a hell of a time trying to get society to welcome him back in once again. I thought in 2022 he did a great job of re-entering the social media era with his Players Tribune letter, but this latest accusation is gonna overshadow that, unless again he can prove that the accusations are false what i'm hoping is that it doesn't have anything to do with his previous addiction i hope he didn't go out and spend a bunch of money on lean that'll make a bad situation way worse because if that were the case it would mean that the issues will continue to snowball from this point because once that batch runs out what do you do probably try to make a play that's even more reckless than the last one Cause it's hard for me to imagine that somebody in their right mind can look at this and think this is something they could get away with. The guy who wrote the check is local. He's gonna speak to the school. No way you thought dude wasn't gonna be checking up on that receipt. I do wonder though, was the check made out to the school or was the check made out to Jamarcus? Cause how could he deposit a check that wasn't made out to him directly into his own personal account? Unless he had access to the school's account, which that's just like a whole nother can of worms. These is all questions that I'ma need answered before I can fully wrap my brain around exactly what happened. But at this point, bro, that's all we know. A crazy situation that Jamarcus Russell once again finds himself in.